filming a makeup tutorial for you guys. I'm doing a fall inspired look since it is officially fall, I was about to say small. Um, even if you live somewhere like I do where it's like really hot and it doesn't even feel like fall is here. It is, so this tutorial is for that. So if you're interested in seeing the look, then just keep watching. So to get started with this look, I'm going to start with my foundation first. I just love to start with my foundation. I don't know, it just takes me, or maybe I should start my eyes first. Yeah, I'm gonna switch things up. I'm gonna start with my eyes first. So first, I'm gonna um, fill in my brows with my L'Oreal Brow Stylist Definer in Dark Brunette. at this point um that literally i think that took me like two minutes so moving on to the eyes i'm going to take my la girl pro conceal hd definition concealer in the shade um creamy beige i'm going to put that all over my eyes i like this because um this concealer really like dries down <laughs> Eyeshadow palette. I will be using my Juvia's Place. Um, what is this? The Saharan by Juvia's Place. I love these eyeshadows. They're so pigmented and they just like they're just so easy to use. So for my crease, I'm gonna take this shade called Katsina. It's their brown shade. And I'm going to use that on the MAC 224 brush and blend that above my crease as like my transition color. Next, I'm going to be taking my Morphe um, Jaclyn Hill palette. I'm going to build. So I'm going to go, I'm going to be using like these two browns here. And then also this reddish brown as well in my crease. So first I'm going to start with the lighter shade. I'm just focusing that more so all over. Starting outside and then going in circular motions into the crease. And you know what? I'm going to zoom y'all in so y'all can get it. So once again, starting the outer corner, going in circular motions. I'm gonna go back in with that two two four and just really blend it all in. All right, now I'm gonna take that darker brown focus that more on the outside and kind of like put it on my lash line as well just to give the look some depth as i'm blending i am applying a bit more pressure on the lash line and when i get to this outer corner i'm just really letting up on that and just barely touching so it can just be more of a like blown out rather than such like a harsh dark I wanted to really blend together with the other two eyeshadows I put down so with that same 224 brush I'm gonna take that red shade and just kind of go over everything with it just so it can like have that tone. Like so now with an eyeshadow brush, this one is pretty dense. I'm gonna wet this and go in with the Fula color on my eyelid. So I'm 
gonna take the Barolo shade and put that on it as well, just to give me more of like a, a cranberry type of vibe. Now I'm gonna take that 217 brush that has the darkest shade on it and just go around. Um, I'm gonna hold it more in an upward motion just so it's not blending onto my um, transition shade, so it's blending more in between those two lines. same 224 brush I'm just gonna take a mixture of this three um, crease shades and just go under my eye with that now I'm going to apply my lashes off camera I look so crazy right now um, <laughs> I'm going to apply my lashes off camera. These are the Kala or Kayla, I don't know, Vault lashes, um, I guess in the style Winged. They look like this. Um, I got them from Marshalls. They were like about, I don't know, five, six dollars, something like that. So now my lashes are on. I still look super crazy. So now I'm going to put, um, the L'Oreal Telescoping Mascara on my bottom lashes. This is the same mascara I use for my top lashes. My mascara is all on. I'm gonna zoom you guys out so we can finally get into this face. So for my face, I'm going to start off with my MAC Stroke Cream. This is my favorite thing to use on my face. Um, I like the glow that it gives my skin. So I can hear a desert glow. For the foundation I'm using today, it's gonna be the e.l.f. Um, what's the name of this one? Um, e.l.f. 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 Oil Free Foundation. I'm in the shade Caramel. taking my Real Techniques Expert Face Brush. I got a little stuff. Um, I love this brush for foundation because it's nice and dense and it just really gets the color spread out nice without like picking any of the product. Do you see that? Like shine because of the um stroke cream. For my concealer and highlighting, I'm gonna use my LA Girl Pro Conceal in the shade medium beige, and I take that under my eye, nose, forehead. Um, to highlight and be To blend out my concealer, I'm going to take my BH Cosmetics 115 brush. It's like a synthetic tapered brush. Um, Foundation. Um, I will put it in the screen because I forgot the name, so I have to 
look for it. But um, I'm gonna take that on a BH Cosmetics 121 brush. So I put it all across my forehead like this. And then typically I want my contour to stop around here. So I'm gonna put it up here so that when I'm blending, it doesn't fall too far down. So now my face has my contour cream all put on it um, and I like to go in with a stippling brush to blend it out because stippling brushes give cream contours like the most flawless blend ever. I'm telling you, if you haven't tried it, you need to. I've been using this for my contour color for so long, it's like, it's my favorite. So I'm just gonna blend it out with this brush. And this is the Morphe M427 brush. your face really give you that nose contour that at least I like um, I'm gonna take my Laura Mercier powder I like to flip it over tap it let some of that product get to the lid so with the powder on my lid I'm gonna take a dry beauty blender press that in and then bake under my eye um, I bake sometimes sometimes I don't but I've really been enjoying it lately for the nose contouring effect. So I'm gonna just like really bring this up on the nose. While this is all baking and you know getting nice and cinched, I'm gonna go in with my contour, my powder contour, and this is the Black Radiance Press Powder in the color Golden Almond. I'm gonna take this powder on my Sephora setting powder brush. angled brush by BH Cosmetics. This is the 104. And I'm just going to follow my brow, start at my brow, and then follow it down. For blush, I'm gonna go with the theme. I'm gonna take this Sola blush right here which is also like kind of the color family of the eyeshadow and it is from Juvia's Place as well and I'm just going to apply that to the cheeks so this is the Juvia's Place loose highlighter in the shade Nefertiti BFF3 pencil. Okay, so now I'm going to take this lipstick in the shade Sandalwood Beige from Revlon. Don't really like that, but it's cool. We're going to, you know mix. I think I'm going to put this on top of it because it's light. This is a very, very, very old lip gloss 
from Forever 21 in the shade Maple. So you guys have made it to the end of this video. I hope you liked it. If you do, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe and comment. And I'll see you in my next one. Bye. Are you hungry too, right? <laughs>